Okay, guys, as you can see, there are plenty 2024 Mustangs, especially the Dark Horse, that has been built. Except all of the Dark Horses are sitting on lots, and people can't get their Mustangs as they thought they could on the dates within the June month. Well, there's a big reason for that. Here's one of them. Ford is not going to let this car out of their grasp due to what? Quality issues. That's right. The Dark Horse is not going to leave Ford until they make sure all the quality issues have been solved and the car won't be problematic. Where does this lead to consumers? Well, if you ordered your Dark Horse, you're going to have to wait. You're just going to have to be patient because not only are your dark horses sitting there and they're steadily being built, but with this July 4th holiday weekend, Ford usually shuts down for two weeks every year around this time of the year for repairs at all their facilities, you know. So if your dark horse was sitting in there in the factory and it's on the assembly line, well, it's just going to be there or it's going to be moved or whatever. Maybe they made so many cars and then they stopped and yours was in next in line to be built when they start back up. You're just going to have to be patient. As you can see, all of these that were built are sitting in the lots. And as I said before, Ford is not going to let these cars go. Now, after the shutdown, yeah, Ford is going to be pumping out some dark horses because they know they got... Consumers that have spent their money and they're waiting on their dark horses. Well, start looking for those cars to arrive this year from any time from after the 4th of July holiday, somewhere late in July, going into August and September. Then you would definitely have your dark horses, you know. But that's the main problem right there. Ford doesn't want any recalls on these dark horses. Now, the GTs that have been built, now they're out. People have been getting their GTs as they will get more GTs, but it's just the dark horse because it's a brand new variant. It's a big money maker. They have spent a lot of money building this car, so they don't want the headaches of recalls on this car. I mean, it's only natural. This is going to be another one of your biggest hits like the Boss or the Mach 1, you know, and you bring in this variant in and you just don't want it going kaput. And being a dud, you know, <laughs> and Ford can't afford it with all the problems they having right now, you know, with EVs, the Ford Lightning and different other things. They don't need the dark horse to flop. People that are the competitors were already giving them grief about how the part of the car looked like a Camaro, you know, but it's still a Mustang. Camaros and Mustangs from the early years had always had some similar looks here and there. But, you know, you're getting kind of the same thing now. But most importantly is that dual air intake and how it affects the engine and how the engine runs and how the transmission goes with the engine to make that car send down the track or wherever they drive it, you know. It's got to have control. It's got to have a good ride, you know. All the components are supposed to come with it. It's all the bells and whistles, basically, folks. And the suspension, you know, you're getting that performance suspension and all the bells and whistles. Ford just can't afford to let the dark horse just get out on the street, you know. Not right now. And here's another thought about these dark horses. You know, the Mustang is the car that was first pony car to stand out back in 65. And then you had Camaro that came out right after it. Then everybody named Mama came out with pony cars to compete, you know. And now most of those cars are gone. I mean, look, let's talk about Dodge real quick. Uh, the Hellcats are gone, man. The red-eyed Hellcat is gone, you know. Any variant close to the Dodge Demon like the 170, that's a one-time shot. Yes, those Hellcat motors are big and bad, yeah. But those things are gone, and they're highly stolen, all right? Now, a lot of these Dodge people are turning their attention to the Ford Mustangs because Ford already said it. They're going to keep pumping out these uh, internal co internal combustion engines, you know. So the ICE, ICE, baby, ICE. So the thing is, 
you're going to have a lot more people that's going to turn their attention to the dark horse. Now, not only the Ford fans, but also the Chevy fans. Camaro's dead, you know, and, and the Hellcat. So both of those big bad giants have fallen, but the Mustang is still around. That's another reason to look at this, why Ford is so big on the quality issues if, if, if there's anything, and they're going through this car with a fine-tooth comb back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because they want it to be right, because they know they're the last champ standing. And everybody know these Mustangs, man, once you get them up in the higher speeds, they go like rockets, man. They are flying out there. So that's just one thought to think about, you know. And another thought is, we don't know if they're having any type of major mechanical problems. So, I mean, you could have anything going wrong with the air intake, the valves, um, maybe the cam or the crank. We don't know. Ford hasn't said anything. It's best that they keep their mouths shut so they can keep the idea of the Ford Dark Horse being a superior car for the 2024 up until whenever. A car model, you know, so even with fitment, we don't know, you know, if they have a problem with doors lining up, hoods coming down right, you know, if the tires are on the car the right way, but Ford hasn't said anything, you know, and I doubt that they ever will, you know, but I know it can be frustrating for those who have their orders in and they wanted to be the first with the cars and show them out and this, that, and the other and go, yay, I got my dark horse. But you know what, like I said, if this is the case, if Ford is pushing it back before they release it, it could be towards the end of the summer, man. You know, you're going to get your car. But for the rest of us who could just sit back and watch and just drool, you know, I would love to see a dark horse right now running down the street. I would love to see a dark horse modified with loud exhaust and be able to go up against some of these Hellcats and really see what it can do, you know. Let's see what this 2024 could do at the track. Put some track tires on it, man. Skinny tires on front. Some Mickey Thompson's on the back. And send that thing, man. I want to see how fast it is with whatever modifications you could put on it before you go maybe twin turbine with that dual intake. Because you know the first thing the aftermarket is going to do is have some bigger uh, intakes for that car, you know. Uh, throttle bodies is what I'm talking about. They're going to come out with some larger throttle bodies if they don't already have them out now. You know, whatever you could get legally for street value. And then from that, there's going to be a whole different conversion for the intake. You don't have to have that big old plastic piece sucking in there. They probably have two aluminum style hoses running straight down, you know, and then to eliminate a lot of the bulk. And then when you go from there, <laughs> who knows? Okay, guys, that's all I got. So I'll see you next time now. Later.